What's up you guys, Pastor Casey here and uh, Bo is doing my video in for me, uh, my, t my teammate up here, my helper. Uh, so I'm doing, I'm going to do a video on this adapter, but I wanted to show you guys kind of what we've changed up here and I'm not going to go into detail yet. Eventually I'm going to do an in-depth video of our entire setup uh, whenever we move to our new building. But many of you know I've done a video that was really popular on the Sling Studio uh, and we had an ATM Mini. Well, we recently upgraded and we have, we got these, uh, these new uh, PTZ cameras that are SDI out and we have this, uh, this PTZ data video, uh, video controller. So we upgraded from the Slang Studio, which is, this is a nice, very nice product, still a really nice product, but we upgraded from that. And we had the ATM Mini, but in order for you to have um, multi-view, you have to have the ATM Mini Pro, at least the Pro version. Um, so anyways, w this is what we have now. We have, this, we have the screen here for this. We have the ATM Mini Pro. We have the PTZ cameras and we're running ProPresenter. Um, but what I wanted to do this video on was, I, I seen online where sometimes people would get a, 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 a home, a either high or low home, with the ATM Mini Pro, um, with their audio going in and then back out for some odd reason, it happens, I don't know why. But, so all we did is I replaced the cable that's coming from the Behringer X32, and we've got a cable that's running from that, and it's running over here to the ATM Mini Pro. And this is the cable right here that's running straight from the Behringer. So we got everything routed, everything's routed from the Behringer, and it comes over to the X32 and we had this plugged into the X32 and this is a really good uh, high-end cable and we had just bought it and I knew that there wasn't an issue but we still had a, a low-end home and so I found this little product right here it's called the Design. it's a isolator eliminator home eliminator supposedly and I was skeptical I seen another video where a guy used something similar to this and so I ordered this one. This one has a lot of reviews on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, and I'm not an Amazon affiliate, so I don't make any money for you clicking the link and buying it. I'm, I didn't, I'm not even advertising for them. I'm just showing you that uh, we use this and it does work and work really well. So basically all you do is you just plug it in to your mic in here on your ATM mini in the mic one slot and you plug it up here uh, right on this side. And that's it. it. It's not powered or anything. And we just sit it like that, and voila, it's done. You turn your audio on, going back into Pro Presenter, and you go to Pro Presenter here, and you turn your video input on, and there you go. So, um, just a little um, quick video on this uh, design uh, isolator and noise eliminator. It, it works flawlessly. We used it last night uh, at Revival, and the quality of the audio was probably better than we've ever had. And all I added was this, <laughs> this little design uh, adapter. So anyways, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, if you have an ATM Mini or you're running into any issues like that, give this little thing a try. It's like less than 20 bucks. It's like 10 or 15 maybe. I forget exactly, but I'll, like I said, I'll link it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and we will see you soon.